Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and another one in which I'm going to compare and I'm looking for the best pressing of an album. And I'm talking about an album I used to obsess over. Electric Warrior by T-Rex. Now, what I'm holding here are three different pressings, but I listened to four. One of them isn't uh, amongst them because the Back to Black pressing I traded after I got one of these. Now, what I'm holding here is a Mofa Fidelity Sound Lab 45 RPM pressing, a first Dutch and a first British pressing. Now, let's talk about... First, I'll tell the story of the first Dutch I have here. Because after I got this one, um, the first Dutch, which has a little gold label in here, um, when I got this one, I got rid of my Back to Black pressing. The Back to Black pressing is not a bad pressing, but I bought it because... Um, well, I, I bought it, I just wanted to have this album on vinyl because it has so much punch and all the digital versions I heard just don't have that punch. Now, the music on vinyl is, I believe, digitally sourced, but having it on vinyl, sound texture-wise, just added a little bit to it. Not a bad pressing, but it did not have the punch and the balls I imagined this album would have. The first NL, in regard and in uh, comparison to the Back to Black one, does have some of that punch. It's a good pressing. It's well defined. It has a nice bass. It has a decent punch. Um, it does seem to hold back at certain moments. When I expected the volume to go up, I noticed it would go down a bit, like an old limiter might have been used in the mastering of this specific pressing. So, I wasn't really happy with this. I was a lot happier than with the Back to Black pressing, a lot happier than anything that was uh, that was audible on uh, Spotify. But I thought, let's continue the quest and to go straight to the source. And I was lucky. In Amsterdam, I found this one, an original first British pressing. I'll show you. It is, um, it even has the, uh, it's not a sleeve, I believe. No, it's an inlay. You see? Which, which I think is fun. Um, this one is a whole different board. Thing. It's thin cardboard, by the way. It's a very fragile present in that regard. Thin cardboard. And it was a, a record sold to a lot of teenagers. So I'm, I guess a lot of them did not survive the ages. It has a very interesting label. You see, uh, with a fly on there, because it's the fly. I believe the uh, company that released it is called Fly Records. It says Essex Music here, but I keep seeing fly. And everybody was talking about trying to get the first UK fly pressing. Now, this is gorgeous. This first British pressing is so much heavier. It's so much heavier. It has a wider soundstage than the Dutch one. It has more details. It has more volume. It has so much more power. The guitar on the right channel is so much more present than on all the other pressings I've heard. Um, it doesn't seem to hold back like I had with the Dutch pressing. It is a gorgeous, wild sounding album and everything I hoped it would sound like. I mean, T-Rex can be very beautiful, atmospheric and smooth, and they get that right, they get the detail right there. But on a song like, um, was it? Get It On, I mean, so much is going on. There are horns, there are things everywhere, and the pressing should contain that. It is a wild, interesting, awesome mix. And the first UK holds all that, it contains all of that, and it is just mesmerizing. It is the ultimate way to listen to this album well perhaps I've said too much already because in 2019 just after I got the first UK the mobile fidelity sound lab pressing got released this is interesting for a number of reasons first of all it's 45 rpm so it should be able to contain more detail also this album is tough to find you, it's tough to find an original. So if there is an audiophile uh, production, which you can easily buy, then you know the market is is there and it's interesting. A lot of the audiophile reissues from 
albums that just easily have a first original pressing around, I don't think that's such an interesting choice. This is an interesting choice because so I'm comparing it to the first UK. But it doesn't necessarily have to sound as good as the first UK because you won't be able to find a first UK or even a first Dutch one that easily. So it just has to be a good representation and 45 RPM is interesting. They made an interesting gatefold. The packaging is gorgeous. The, the UK one has a flimsy cardboard. This is thick cardboard. Mofi really seemed to care when they were making this one in 2019. The sound is a bit tighter. Um, the sound isn't, how do I say this? Uh, separate, uh, separate instruments do not leak as much as on an original. And to be quite frank, I like a bit of leaking, but there's a tight sound here. Problem is, there is so much less power, warmth. The focal seems to be compressed or repressed. I'm not sure what they did there. Nothing sounds really full. The stereo image is not as big and wide as on an original, it is lesser. I'm doubting, is this compressed? Everything which I like about the first UK, the wild, wild mix with all the sounds, uh, uh, with, with, with the sound everywhere and, and horns coming from there and guitar coming from the other side and the rough, warm quality of that, it's gone. It's gone. Now. They claim to use the master, but we all know the MoFi story, probably. If not, I'll, I'll explain about a year ago, um, work it out that they use digital copies from the master tapes. It's also the case with this one. And they have made beautiful pressings with that, with good digital copies of master tapes. Now, this is not a horrible pressing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to take into account that this is a tough album to find, but might as well buy the Back to Black. If you're going to go for a reissue, if you want it to be scratchless, go for the Back to Black. But please do yourselves a favor, try to find a first UK, because it is, by a landslide, the best pressing of this album. So yeah. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!